Episode 3, Silence. Welcome to Silence. This time of year, nature is loaded with neat sounds that you can hear. If you're quiet... Exploring the neatness of nature. So get your tippy toe tootsies ready for sneaking in and listening. What's the matter, Fern? Try placing your feet softly upon the ground like a fox when you walk. Songbirds usually restrict their calls to short, quiet sounds so that they aren't discovered by predators. But in the spring, the males throw caution to the wind and sing their heart out in the hopes of attracting a girlfriend as a mate. <laughs> Some people are good at identifying birds just by the sound that they hear. They even may be able to mimic the sound of the bird, kind of like this. Yeah, good one, Vern. You nearly had me going. To be a good listener, many animals are great at being silent. People can practice silence too. First, find a comfortable quiet spot outside, like this. Then, close your eyes and take three deep breaths. Breathe in. Out. Second one in. And out. Last one. And out. Now let's practice making silence. Some people are good at hearing things. I heard four things. How many did you hear? Now it's your turn to find neat sounds in nature, besides just me and Vern doing it. Try this at home. Go outside and find a quiet place to sit for five or ten minutes, and then practice silence. What do you hear? You might hear the wind whistling in the trees. You might hear a bird, or maybe an insect buzzing. Or maybe you won't hear anything. You might be surprised what you hear. Even in silence, nature is pretty neat. Mm -hmm.